12 to, months if I put oh, in 10 grand now? I don't do what other people do. Other people will sell you some big dream and bullshit you and, and, and give you forward looking price statements that they shouldn't be giving. I'm okay making forward looking price statements with Ethereum. I'm okay making forward looking price statements with Bitcoin and throwing guesses out there. For instance, I predicted the $20,000 Christmas when mm -hmm. Bitcoin was $4,000 and I was right. And no one else got it right. I'd got it right. I called the multi-year bear market at 8,500. I was right. Nobody else had the courage to come out and do that because calling a bear market makes everybody your enemy. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Nobody. Not sexy. Nope. Everybody hates it. The only people that are okay with it are some traders that play the short side and there's just not many of them. So, you know, I, so as far as hacks, past performance is not a guarantee of future performance. A solar flare could hit and nuke all the electronics in the world. You know, uh, who knows? Jurassic park dinosaurs could come back and start eating people. Right. <laughs> so, I don't want to bullshit you and tell you that I know what the price is going to do because every time the hex price is doubled, I had no idea it was going to double at that moment because it's a single individual deciding to put a big ass chunk of money in. I didn't know some guy would come along, buy a billion hex and stake it for 15 years. I had no idea. I'm amazed every time I see it. And when we have these 70% dips, I have no idea when they're coming or why, but I can see on chain who's doing the selling. I don't know their names, but I see their addresses. All right, he bought here, now he's selling there. It's all public, it's all on chain. You can analyze it. There's even a, an app you can use to see who's making money and who's losing money called staker.app. You literally click people and see how much they made, how much they lost, how long they're staked for, when they got in, when they're getting out. It's amazing. Like this, it's the most public transparent trades in the world that have ever existed. They just don't have names tied to them. Like nobody knows who the name is. So I don't know when the price is gonna double. I don't know when the price is going to cut in half. I do know that this is the best design thing I've ever seen and that the performance historically has been absolutely insane and that there's a ton of potential in the future because nobody in the mainstream knows about this yet. Nobody. The Even in crypto, because so many people call it a scam for so long because they didn't do their research, they were just stupid, there's been gatekeeping. So the largest site, for comparing prices of, I'm not even going to mention it because they're gatekeeping us. So they don't deserve rewarded for bad behavior. But the largest site that people use to compare the price of one thing versus another thing has manually had hacks forced onto the third page when it belongs on the first page up at the top. It's been number six or number five market cap crypto in the world. So on sites like uh, TradingView and Nomics.com and uh, others, you'll see hacks where it belongs at the top and it's getting that press that it deserves. But on other very large sites, it's being starved of press um, just because it's so new and people don't understand how good it is yet. So that's an opportunity that when that, if those people fix their sites to accurately represent hacks where it belongs with the market cap that it has, it should be very simple. It's just math. There shouldn't be manual gatekeeping going on. Then there's a bunch of new eyeballs that have never seen hacks before. When the mainstream press does its first article, I mean, I guess like Forbes India did some sponsored article on me. You're like, wow, great. Like who gives a shit about that? Yeah. But I have the personality and the presentation skills and the backdrop to make a great impact on larger stages, right? Like I've been on RT television representing Bitcoin. I've been on stage with that, Swedish yeah. finance minister representing Bitcoin. You know, when COVID goes away and I'm able to like talk about things I enjoy again, like there's so much potential. There's so much potential that even in the crypto market, in the mainstream market, with this big payday coming up in five days, well, the 19th, but you got to be staked by the 18th to get it. And if you get your coins from an exchange, they hold them for a few days to make sure your payment was really good. So you got to get in now. Like if you want in before the big payday, you got to get in now. And some people think we're going to have a dip on the big payday because there's people that have got their stakes set to expire right after the big payday. So people see those stakes expiring and they figure some of them are going to sell. Maybe there is a dip on big payday. I don't know. Maybe that's a buying opportunity. So if you get in early, you're going to get this huge uh, payout and the share price is going to go up a lot. So right now, the share price is now 12% higher than it started. And it's going to ratchet up a huge amount after the big payday. It ratchets up every time someone ends a stake. So if, if you end your stake, the system makes sure that you can't buy back more shares than you just got paid. Because otherwise, you could compound. 
and then short stakes could outperform long stakes. So the system says, okay, how do we make sure that long stakes always outperform short stakes? By continually raising the share price to make sure that nobody can ever recompound to beat the long guys. And what that ends up with is a share price chart that only goes up forever. Now you're like, wait a second, only goes up forever. That sounds impossible. No, nope, it's actually totally normal. It's an analog to compounding interest. And what does compounding interest do? It just goes up forever. So instead of, instead of compounding shares to the guys that have been in the longest, which is what you do in any compounding system, it's computationally inefficient because you're having to write data to thousands and thousands of entries. It's just easier to change a single cell, which is share price, and that goes up. And then the new guys get reduced by that number. So instead of amplifying old guys to outcompete new guys, you just reduce new guys and you don't have to change the numbers of the old guys. And it gives you this amazing share price chart. So I think the biggest single tick increase in the share price ever, like it could like double depending on how many people are staked, the share price could double on November 20th when people start ending their stakes and taking out their profit. Um, yeah, go to bitstamp.net, buy Ethereum. If you want to turn it into Hex, go to go.hex.com, click your own referral link if you want a 32% bonus. Um, you know, or you could hope for a dip and, you know, pray that you're there if it happens and pray that you hit the button on time. If you go in our chat room, I could refer you to a website where you can set up like limit orders, uh, t.me forward slash hex crypto. Now look, this isn't financial advice, right? That cryptocurrencies are very, very volatile. There's seven, there's been at least three 70% dips. I would imagine that this will continue to happen for as long as it is exists. So if you, if you have to get in and out within like a three week period and you buy a top, a local top and it dips 70%, well, you're going to sell at a loss. So this is a system that really cryptocurrencies in general, if you have a crypto with product market fit, it rewards those can hold longer. You know, if you, if you bought Bitcoin at 30, like I did, and it dropped to two and you sold it, well, you're a sad boy, but then it went up to 1200. But what if you sold it there? Well, then you didn't get the 20,000. Okay. Well now we're at 16,000. Where's it going to go? You see what I mean? If you have a longer time horizon, crypto has been very rewarding to people. But if you have a short time horizon, man, you could sell at an 80% loss, you know? So 